The following presentation shows main concepts and associated technologies of the anti-collision system that is designed to meet requirements of the latest International Air Transport Association AHM 913 standard. Impact damage is an ongoing threat of major concern, particularly with the new generation of aircraft coming into service, which have a significant percentage of their structure made of composites and are exposed to external sources of impact. The main objective of AHM 913 standard is to specify the basic safety requirements for all self-propelled ground support equipment in order to achieve the goal of eliminating the possibility of aircraft being damaged. There are three main zones in relationship to an aircraft covered by the standard. Ramp area, equipment restraint area, docking area. Max speed limit in ramp area is mandated by an airport and is usually around 25 km per hour. When ground support equipment enters equipment restraint area, it is expected that the operator will manually engage tortoise speed mode by a dedicated switch on dashboard. For the convenience of the operator, the system will inform when to engage tortoise speed mode via a message on dashboard display and blinking light on a dedicated switch. When in tortoise mode, the speed is limited to 6 km per hour and when engaged, the external beacon is activated for supervision purposes. Confirmation is shown on the dashboard display. The anti-collision system is enabled as soon as the tortoise mode is on. From that point on, the system takes control over speed, acceleration and automatic braking of the vehicle. The operator can proceed with manoeuvring as usual but the anti-collision system will be there to assist to ensure the safety at all times. When ground support equipment reaches docking area, the system automatically applies the brake and inhibits the forward drive in order to eliminate any possibility of crashing with an aircraft. Only reverse direction of movement is allowed. Final positioning to the aircraft is provided by the telescopic platform which will automatically stop within a few centimetres of the fuselage. If any of the safety bumper switches are activated during the operation, the system immediately enables lockout of the machine. It means that the brake is applied automatically, forward drive is disabled, movement of telescopic platform is disabled, and a timestamp log entry is created and accessible via dashboard display. The lockout can be reset only by overriding it with the master key. 